Good morning. So we've just finished our morning sessions, but I'll jump on and talk about something, a message I had yesterday, which was I've lost two pounds um, this week and I feel like I've not done much to achieve this. And I wanted to talk about this because to remind you that actually what you do this week isn't necessarily reflected on the scale. So like if you try something this week and the scales don't move, it doesn't mean that what you did this week was a failure. Likewise, if you do something this week and the scales go in the right direction, it doesn't necessarily mean that what you did today is, is the result of that. Like it's never, it's never that necessary, that instant. Like you could lose weight this week, you could lose inches this week based on the habits you've done over the last three months or so, but you've just started to, to bring it off now. Like sometimes it's, you've been in a slight deficit for that amount of time to then see those results in terms of fat loss, inch loss, or even fluctuations in weight you know, two to four pounds daily can be quite normal. And, and I'm saying this not because like I'm putting a downer on losing two pounds, but the problem is, is when we gain two pounds, we think that we've like failed. We think that nothing's working or like that, you know, like there's no point. It's my metabolism. So we need to kind of look at this and remember that there will be fluctuations and it's looking at the average that counts. So something that you can do if you are into using the scales, maybe use, um, you go get weighed each week, if you use like Slimming Club or anything like that where they do that. If you're weighing every week, just consider it might be worth weighing daily and getting averages over the week. So if you weigh daily, you can get used to fluctuations because people, you know, who, are, who we're working with, they might weigh themselves daily and go, well, it's four pounds heavier that day, three pounds lighter that day. Like the fluctuations can be quite big depending on your routine, your schedule, when you eat your last meal, do you have a lot of fiber one day? Do you have more carbs one day? All of these variations. So considering that, looking at the average can help us, number one, feel a bit more in control. Like it's not like such a scale, oh my God, and be less reactive to the scales rather than I'm doing amazing, my mood's good, oh, I'm doing rubbish, might as well just binge eat and eat because actually it's the trend that counts. And actually the people who get the best results will just do it for long enough to see the results. And that's the challenging part because our brain probably wants to, to give up because we've done it before. We've been in that place before where maybe before it's not, it's not worked again, I'll just give up because it'll be easier then. But yet we go back into that cycle again of stopping and then starting again. And that's the hardest part, starting and then starting, start and stop, start, stop. It's easier to keep that momentum going even if it's small things you can do today. So. Just thought I'd touch on that today. Um, and that's something that we will be looking at in terms of stopping, stopping and keeping going in our free five day kickstart, which begins Monday the 24th. So week on Monday, Monday the 24th of October, we kick off our free five day kickstart. So if you want more information on that, just click the link around this video above or below. Completely free, like I said, all as I ask. All we ask is you just meet us halfway with this. Like we will be showing up every day. You can do it as, all from home in as little as 10 minutes a day. And I'll see you soon.